Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're gonna be doing a full blown eyeshadow palette ranking. I'm gonna go 20 to one, everything that I tested in March from worst to best. I found some absolute gems that I am loving that have made my makeup days feel more beautiful. And we're gonna talk all the nitty gritty about the things that didn't work as well. We have drugstore, we have high end, 20 palettes, three, two, one. Let's dive on in. Actually, uh, we have 21 because we just need to give the absolute, like the death stare, side eye, and like a, you get a grade F. The neutrals color palette. Do I even want to talk about this again? Because I posted that video and this sucker sold out. And I'm like, oh my gosh, when the knockoff company has made more money off of my creative than I ever did. Uh, that is hilarious to me. This quality is garbage, itchy, scratchy, hard pass. I do not recommend. So I had to, in a palette video, of course, start here, but let's get into the actual top 20. I think that you guys probably know the $78 mistake that I made from Shantikai. These little suckers. This is laughable, but do you know what's so weird is when I was trying this out in my luxury fails video, I had hope. And I had a memory of being in the store and asking James, does this look pretty? And I don't know what it was. In the luxuriness of Neiman's, I literally felt like this looked way more beautiful than it actually is. And at home, I was like taking it out of the package and opening it up and I'm like, this is not like what, like, like did something happen? Like, why did I think this was so amazing? I had a Twilight Zone moment. I don't remember. Very strange, did not wear. We have so many better options that will not cost you $78. So Chantecaille, this one I purchased myself and I regret it. Moving from there, we have, oh, she's busting into her notes. It is getting serious. Let's go to number 19. The weirdest PR that I have ever received from Lancome because this is their holiday palette. It's on sale at Macy's, I believe for $33. And it claims to be something like a $230 value. I will share with you all, I had no idea that this bottom portion had blushes that popped out, right? Like, so for a moment while I was sitting here, I'm like, ah, uh, do I change my vote? Do I wanna try those? I might try the blushes, but let me tell you why I don't like this. It's a weird, like the glitter doesn't go all the way through. You know how I always say that Tom Ford glitters, like what you see on the top is what is through the entire pan. This is very glimmery on the top. It does not go through the entire pan. They are very powdery. I wore this darker shade right here in my best lipsticks tried of March. I will link that below. And honestly, the moment I put it on, I was like, ooh, hard pass. I don't like this. I don't like this. It's not blending. It was like black, but kind of shiny patchy. I did the best I could by piling other things on top. But the blendability in here is just not that great. And the colors are just kind of that unflattering gray undertone. So this was a surprising pass. And yes, I do go hard on brands even if they gift me in PR, I'm not gonna be afraid of people kicking me off the list. I love what I love and I don't love what I don't love. So let's just keep it moving. We're gonna talk about e.l.f. These are not terrible and especially for the price, but they're not phenomenal. And I found myself looking at them in my pile of things that were new. And I was just like, you know, I, I love the e.l.f. primer, the grip primer, the putty primer. I'm wearing the halo glow mixed into foundation today. And I don't know what happened. I'm a shiny, I am a greased up shiny light bulby mess. I don't know. Do you guys like it? Do you not? I've had to put so much powder on today. It's not for everyone. I feel like if you're gonna wear makeup out in the evening on a date, like it's great if you have combo skin that gets slightly oily like me, but if you put it on in the morning, which this makeup has been on all day long, it's like 6.30 right now. And I look in the mirror and it's like, we've had enough, we're melting off. So um, if I look a little more, a little more dewy right now. That is what is going on. But anyway, long story short, these are inexpensive. If you wanna grab them, grab them. They're not terrible, but they're not like, oh my gosh, like, oh, I can't wait to use them every day. You know what I'm saying? I just wanna get to the good. Let's get to number 17 and 18. Like them, don't love them. I love Huda Beauty. I love so much from Huda. Oh my gosh. When I was looking in the mirror and I'm like, oh my gosh, my face is sliding off my face and I need powder. What do you think I busted into? Huda Beauty, it's sitting right here. 
like saves the day. One of the greatest powders of all time. Love her larger palettes. I've done so many dedicateds on these teeny tinier palettes. These mattes just did not excite me. Something I will say that does excite me is that you get kind of these two colors that are kind of like a creamier formula, which is nice and nice and blendy. But what I didn't like about this particular one is I feel like it's more fall toned colors. I'm just not gravitating toward these orangey shades right now. If you are, this is a good one. It's available at Sephora. I believe it's $33, um, excuse me, $32. They have another one that is more purple toned and you get, again, two of those kind of more it's almost like a putty formula. It's really nice. Like, it's not like I don't like these. It's a full-blown matte palette. They're nice, but if you are not into kind of a deeper, more mauve purple tone or more of that rust warm tone, you're not gonna be reaching for them a lot. So that's my only reason why I didn't go bananas for these. And that's that. Can we talk about my nails for 2.2? Because all I'm seeing in the very distant monitor, because my monitor is pretty far from me and it's pretty small, is this like spicy, hot, red, orange nail situation. You guys, I'm getting better at painting my nails and it is such a victory to not like go way outside the lines. Anyway, I wanted to share with you guys this Olive and June Quick Dry in Picante. Loving it. This is day two and no tip wear at all. So nice. All right, moving on. Hello, focus. I just want to like share everything with you guys. I have a hard time doing like focus on eyeshadow videos because I'm like, and guess what's on my lips and my face and my nails? Like I just sit down here and it feels like the makeup family is all together and we're just going to talk about it and we're just going to love on beauty products as a whole. Okay, so now we have number 14 and number 13 are both from Sigma. Okay, number 14 is the new mod. I love Sigma formula shadows, whatever they did with their formulation, I would say over the past two years, I never loved their stuff the way that I do now. Like it literally lights me up. This is just one swatch. Um, let's give that a second bump here. Metallics always swatch so much better than the mattes, but the mattes in the Sigma palettes blend. They do not dust off. They do not crumble everywhere. You can windshield wiper motion it and it will just give you that gorgeous blend, that like diffused nice blend where you can add more and it will layer without lifting and patching. The formula is good. So that was the new mod. And then the Anne Nook palette, which I haven't played enough with. I did wear this a few times. Let me show you some gorgeous metallics from in here. Beautiful, right? Like just those yummy, neutral, gorgeous colors. There is an icicle one, which you guys know I've been into for the inner corner. Get out of here. That is so stunning. Now I'm not really into the punchier shades at the moment. This is probably the most like papau like look that I've been into recently with the exception of duochromatic shades, which I wear just kind of like one at a time. But if it's like a matte neon blue, it just has not been something that I personally would be into. But I still think this palette is amazing. And I was super impressed with just the layout, the size of it, the colors. I think it's a good one. And I think it's on sale on the Sigma site itself. How pretty is this too with all the different eye looks? Like so gorgeous. She is super talented. I'm loving it. Okay, so from there, the Actius Luna palette. I think I'm saying that right. The butterfly palette. We have this one right here. And this you may have seen in my PR unboxing, the like super chaotic PR unboxing that I did by myself because I thought that was like a really smart idea. Um, I don't know that I will do that again. Now this one is, let me get these on here for you all. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that minty green tail wings is beautiful. The mattes are not as good as the metallics, but the price is right. This is a $16 palette. It's an indie brand that you're supporting. It's a really unique color story. I love that. Like where do you really see that? That actually feels kind of wearable and not too crazy. You guys know I love these kind of like mustardy shades. There's a beautiful metallic here called Luna. And then Fluffy is just like a really interesting, nice neutral, 
anyone would like this kind of a matte. So for $16, I thought this was a really fun palette and I wanted to support and give a shout out to a smaller indie brand. I love um, the packaging on the front is actually quite detailed and nice. It's just pretty to look at. You guys know I love butterflies. So that came higher on the list. Now on to number nine, 10 and 11 from Mellow Cosmetics. These are shadow quads that are out of Australia and it's a clean formula. It's a buttery smooth formula. I love Mellow Cosmetics. You guys know I have been loving their lip liners, specifically Maya. Shout out to that hot pink that I am still absolutely in love with. The quad itself kind of has the same feel as Charlotte Tilbury. Not that Charlotte Tilbury is the first person to ever do like a quad square shaped compact for shadows, but it has that feel. It's not as ritzy. It's not as expensive luxury feeling as far as the actual packaging, but these shades are just like, where are we gonna go? Where are we gonna go? Um, they are super easy to work with, really great reflection. I love them. There are three different quads that I have. The first one that I just swatched for you all is Aphrodite, and then there's Harmonia and Athena. If you have mature eyes, more sensitive eyes, this is a very easy to blend, easy to work with formula. You can use a brush, you can use your fingertips. It's so forgiving, it wears really well. You can buy these at Nordstrom, you can buy them off of Amazon, and I just think they're a great quad. And anyone, any age, it's just like every single time it looks good. If you're shocked, Shopping online, here's the thing that's funny about these is you look at it and you're like, hmm, I don't know. Like I've seen it, but you put it on and it just is one of those formulas and like color tones and textures that like just does something. I've been reaching for these a ton and just loving them. Okay, so moving on, we're now like deep in the top 10. Number eight is colorful and it is right under the $10 mark. This is from Makeup Revolution. This is the Forever Dynamic Mesmerized palette. You guys, it has a glitter in here that's purple that's actually not bad. It's really, really nice. You may want a glitter glue or glitter primer, but is that showing up? Show up. Okay, that was like a really terrible swatch. Let me try again. She's running out of room. This purple glitter, <laughs> it's kind of low. Low risque here, um, this purple glitter is not overly reflective metallic. You can pretty much get away with wearing it during the day. It's not like, oh my gosh, are you going to a nightclub? It just has this texture to it that's really interesting that you don't see very often. And for under 10 bucks, I thought this was a great palette. I like the feeling of the packaging. I love the metallics in here. The mattes are very, very soft as well. Um, let's see here. Do you see that purple right there? Oh my goodness, it's like the brightest metallic purple, dreamy, cloudy, cotton candy, metallic, lilac, gorgeous, like I just love it. And then this metallic up here is really pretty. I haven't played around with this purple too much. <laughs> she intimidates me. Um, but the mattes in here are very smooth. There's a really pretty matte pink. Oh, she's not bad. She is not bad. Okay, we are on to number seven from Clio. This is available on Amazon. They have a bunch of different shades. The one that I have here, and I'd recommend any of these. I do really love these. It's a nice, like it kind of feels like the Huda Beauty, the plastic casing is really pretty. It's see-through, aesthetically just gorgeous A to Z. You open this up and you have the most phenomenal metallics that have all this different under sparkle and texture and <laughs> It's just like, it just gives you all the feels. If you have had a bad makeup day and you're like, something's patchy, the metallics in here will really cover that up. They're so forgiving. The mattes in here are literally cloud soft. Like they are dreamy. The white in here, oh my gosh, this is the Cherish Spring palette that I'm holding right here. I got this in PR and I, have loved using these brighter shades just as like inner corner highlight or on the days when I roll out of bed and I don't wanna fuss with makeup much and I pop on some tinted moisturizer, but I want a little, a little something to grab the light. You can just kind of pack one of those metallics on the lid. It has kind of a creamy texture to it, which is really unique and it just wears all day and looks beautiful. I love this. Okay, we're getting to like the good, 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 good. This one for the money, I cannot. Okay, are we 
ready for a $6 palette that will blow you away. This is from Catrice. This is the Pure Nude Eyeshadow Palette. These feel so expensive. I cannot even like begin to tell you. We're gonna find space. We're, we're doing it. We're just, we're going there right now. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, these metallics, luxury. The luxury of them is just barely pressing. Look at that, okay? You have a beautiful gold in here that is not like an obnoxious gold either. It's like such a subtle, soft, this is like velvet metallic that doesn't have a lot of puff or kickback. It's just stunning and it's pretty much all metallic. There are two shades that have, I don't wanna say a matte feeling to them. I'll put some swatches in close up, but they are softer than like a bright metallic, but they still have that like glow. Kind of like an ambient powder is a setting powder, but it has that softness and that glow. That's what the two more matte shades feel and look like. The other ones that are straight up just gorgeous metallic is just like sparkly, the sheen of velvet, when velvet kind of hits the light, is what it looks like to me. There's nothing crunchy or thick about it. And for $6, I can't even believe it. I can't believe the quality, it's so good. This was a shocker. So this I purchased at Ulta myself. I literally wandered over. I was getting my hair done at Dry Bar. I wandered over. I did not need this, but I saw it and I stood there and we met eyes and I bought it. And then I forgot about it and I was like, well, I have other things to try, I don't know. I finally used this and I'm like, you should have been using this from the moment you bought it. It's what is on my eyes right now. These are the most insane metallics. Now this is more of a, cr not crunchy, it's thicker, it packs a punch. They almost feel wet, they are very opaque. Get out of here. And they are more deep, like jewel toned deep. There's like depth in here. Oh my gosh, I cannot. You do get um, two darker shades that are more matte and you get a lighter one that is more on the matte side. This one in the upper corner, love. Freaking cannot even begin to tell you. Like it's, it's like a pressed pigment. It has that pressed pigment kind of a thing. You can use these wet or dry and I mean, my freaking goodness, right? Like, oh, so, so nice. Love the packaging, love like the plastic feel in here. Feels like everything is gonna stay super safe with the kind of product that it is. And this again is the Sweet Tart Cravings by Tarte Sugar Rush. She needs a napkin. Wow, we really are, we are doing it, right? Like we are really, the hair's all messed up. I'm covered just completely in my stripes. Okay, so now we are on to, dun da da da. <laughs> the dopamine enhancing smiley palettes from Urban Decay, you guys. They say on the website, they're dopamine enhancing. And you know what? The packaging is super cute. Like this little metallic situation, holographic thing does make me smile. I like it. What I love though is the formulation of Urban Decay shadows is just up there with the best. They blend so nicely. Let's just give them a little swatch love too, even though I have definitely <laughs> I have definitely swatched this on my channel already, but it's just like really beautiful for summertime kind of a thing and they're small, compact, travel with it. It's punchier colors with some neutrals, really user-friendly, not crazy expensive for Urban Decay. How much are these puppies? They're $33, so it is a little up there in price, but I really enjoyed them. I reached for them a ton, and that's why they made it high on the list because whatever I gravitate toward, whatever I'm reaching for, kind of going, oh, this formula is good. I'm gonna wear this one on a daily basis. I wanna share with you guys. All right, now this one, I did like a mini tutorial on IG. I need to do more of those. And moving forward, I do plan on doing that so that I can actually capture in action more of the eyeshadow palettes that I'm testing out during the month. I figure I may as well just like record everything, like why not? And then when I do this recap, we'll have more to kind of go off of, like just like my little iPhone footage that I do post over on IG. So this was one that I randomly tested and I was like, wait, like 
this is working really well. How much is this? I went over to Amazon and it is in my Amazon storefront now. This is $8.50. I don't know how. It's so good. It's literally just every neutral that you would possibly need and you get a glitter. So I just wanted to give like honorable mention, the packaging is not great. Opening it is just like, are my nails gonna get it? Am I gonna chip? Um, so the packaging is not ideal, I'll be honest, but the color story, the way these blend, the way these wear, the glitter in here, the icicle moment that you can put in the inner corner, I love it. All right, we made it to number one, you guys. The most expensive but special item on the list. And this was one that I also tested and did like a very mini look over on IG. James got this for me for my birthday. I'd looked at like four different Sephoras, three or four different Sephoras. And I think online it was sold out for a hot minute. And I was like, man, I missed out. I didn't get that, I should have. And it was one of the few makeup items that I actually had like regret over. I try so much makeup that usually if I don't get a hold of something that's limited edition or something like that, I'm like, yeah, well, there'll be something new that comes along. Well, this was one that I'm like, I really wanted that. Like I just, like I'm thinking, I'm thinking about it. I'm dreaming about it because I dream about makeup. Uh, and anyway, long story short, for my birthday, James had hunted this down. And in that story on IG, I did complain about the center road. I was like, oh my gosh, why won't this swatch? And so many of you guys <laughs> messaged me. You're like, use some Fix Plus, use water. They're designed that way. And I don't know what I was thinking while I was filming that. I just clearly wasn't. So I've tried it with water, works. Have not played with the middle row that much, but you can see like they're interesting, that's for sure. Now the rest of the palette, we're just gonna take a moment. Oh my God, I just, uh, I just like, oh my gosh, it, it's just, hello. It's making me feel like I am an intergalactic woman. What's trippy about these, they are true like duochrome shadows. Like I'm looking at this in the pan and it looks incredibly different than what is showing up on camera. Gosh, fly me to the freaking moon. Have you ever seen a shadow just like, shoo, like it's just delicious, so good, I love it. Um, I'll do a close up swatch of course, but like while we're here, like let's just, let's just soar, let's just do it. Oh my gosh, all the feels. Okay, so for these, definitely it's not an everyday neutral palette. This is an expensive duochromatic palette that you're gonna be using when you want those wow moments. If you're a makeup artist, enthusiast, if you use brighter shades, then this is worth the splurge. If not, pass on it. Don't buy something that you don't see yourself using. So even though I'm hyping it up like so much, I just wanna let you guys know that you need to know what you're getting into. They are bright, they are loud, they are vibrant. But what I tend to do, <laughs> I tend, I'm like a toddler right now, oh my gosh. What I tend to do with these is I will just take one shade and just to be fun, let's go into escapism here. This beautiful green, oh my gosh. <sighs> You guys, I, my lashes popped off. Gosh darn it. It's been a long makeup day. Let's just, let's just give grace and it's fine. It's the end of the video. Just like, do you see how pretty that can be? Just use one shade is my recommendation for those of us that don't want to do the full, like I spent five hours doing a cut crease and everything. You don't even need to do lashes and a wing. You can just actually make this more effortless by patting on one at a time, do your mascara, and you can get away with a borderline neutral look. It's just these, oh, that I need to fix that lash. Um, these shadows have really impressed me. Okay, tell me in the comments, are you the girl that will let your fellow woman know if she has food in her teeth, like a stranger, toilet paper on her shoe? I have full on been that person that's chased after a woman leaving the restroom to like stomp on the toilet paper so that she like doesn't have it dragging behind her. Like I saw a girl on a date one time and I did that. Like James is like, why are you literally so weird, because it looked like I was just like chasing after this random stranger. Um, yeah, let me know, are you that person?
because I sure am. If I see that you are in need of like a little like lean in of like, hey, you got something in your teeth or like, hey, your button, like, you know, mm, um, or toilet paper or whatever it might be, be that person. The world needs us to care for each other and look out for each other. And so uh, if you were in this room and you didn't tell me about my lash popping off, I'd be very, very upset. Um, okay, that's gonna dry down. Let's put a different color on the other side just so you guys can get a feel for it. Let's go ahead and put awakening on. This is a beautiful duochromatic teal to purple. Obviously, I would put this on before lashes and perfect everything, but I just want you guys to see like just Ooh, we got more light reflected. Just how marvelous this is. Um, if you are looking at that price tag and you're like, absolutely no, no way. I understand. I got this as a birthday gift. I fully get it. I do have an obscure finds from the drugstore video. I tested out some Pro Fusion Duochromatic. Like, where'd they go? I'm gonna get them. These guys duo chrome individual pigments. They're a little messy. They do come with a black base that makes it really easy to work with. Check that video out. But these are not as expensive, obviously. Bought mine at Walmart and they're not as punchy, right? But with the black base underneath and you can see in that video, I try them on, beautiful. So you can get duochromes on a budget. Now, if you want the Rolls Royce, this is it, number one. All right, you guys, I need to go take a bath. So I hope you enjoyed this video, this rundown 20 to one of the palettes that I tried over the month of March. If you want me to do this for April, let me know by sharing the video, thumbsing this up, leave me some comments. And other than that, go have a good one. I love you guys so much and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah.